The V-2 was the world's first ballistic missile developed by Nazi Germany during World War II. Its creation was a major step in the development of rocket engineering and a precursor to both strategic rocket armaments and future space missions. Work on the V-2 began in the late 1930s when Werner von Braun and his team began developing liquid propellant rockets based on the research of American rocket pioneer Robert Goddard. In 1937, Germany established a research center in Peenemünde, which became the main test site for the new developments. The first successful test rocket was launched on October 3, 1942. It reached an altitude of about 84 kilometers and a speed of over 5,760 kilometers per hour, making it the first man-made object in history to cross the boundary of space, 100 kilometers, known as the Kármán line. Kármán line Although the V-2 did not officially reach this altitude under combat conditions, in August 1943, the British Air Force raided Peenemünde, Operation Hydra, in an attempt to destroy the German rocket program, but production of the 5-2 was soon moved to the underground Middleburg factory near Nordhausen, which used forced labor from inmates of the Dora Mittelbau concentration camp. The horrific labor conditions resulted in the deaths of thousands of people, making the creation of the V-2 one of the darkest chapters in the history of technology. The V-2 was a single-stage liquid rocket powered by liquid oxygen and ethanol. Its characteristics, length, 14 meters, diameter, 1.65 meters, weight, fueled, 12.5 tons, range, up to 320 kilometers, maximum speed, about 5,760 kilometers per hour, almost 4.5 times faster than the speed of sound. Warhead, one ton of amatol, a mixture of aminal and trinitrotolian, fuel, ethanol, 75%, and water, 25%, oxidizer, liquid oxygen, navigation system, gyroscopic inertial system, maximum altitude, about 90 kilometers. The launch was vertical, after which the rocket gained altitude as it exited the atmosphere and then made a sharp ballistic descent. Its speed was so high that it could not be intercepted by anti-aircraft guns or Allied fighters. The V-2 began to be used from September 1944. The main targets were London. The first attack took place on September 8, 1944. The explosion occurred in the Chiswick area, causing considerable destruction. Antwerp, an important Allied port was subjected to massive attacks. Liège, a major transportation hub. A total of about 3,000 missiles were launched, of which more than 1,400 hit Britain. However, due to low accuracy and low payload compared to aerial bombardment, the military effect was limited. After the war, V-2 technology became the basis for the development of the first ballistic missiles in the USSR and the USA. The Soviet Union transported more than 100 rockets and engineers, which served as the basis for the development of the R-1 rocket, followed by the R-2 and the famous R-7, which launched the first artificial satellite in 1957. The U.S. transported more than 1,500 German scientists, including Werner von Braun as part of Operation Paperclip. He played a key role in building the U.S. space program developing the Redstone and Saturn V rockets that helped send a man to the moon. The V-2 was the first ballistic missile in history, ushering in a new era of armaments. Although it was developed for military purposes, the technologies developed for this missile played a huge role in the development of cosmonautics and modern rocket technology. After the war, they formed the basis of the Soviet and American space programs, allowing mankind to go into space. However, the V-2 also showed how destructive future weapons could be, leading to an arms race and the development of nuclear ballistic missiles that changed the course of world history.